Hello there, today I'm gonna tell you five misconceptions about voice acting or voice actors. Alright, let's begin. First off, and probably the most annoying misconception, is that voice actors are different from actors. To be able to voice act, you must first be able to act. They are the exact same thing. Regardless if you're standing on stage, wearing a fancy costume, or behind a microphone, at the end of the day, what you're doing is acting. And I can guarantee you that if you go to a studio and you watch someone record behind the microphone, they will not be standing still. They will be very energetic. They'll be moving around quite a bit. You'll see the difference in facial expressions between every single line. Anything to help them get into character and act, they will do in the studio. And the number one way to make a voice actor want to kill you instantly is to ask him if he ever considers going into real acting. If you ever hear anyone say this, you have my permission to slap them. Number two, you have to be talented to be a voice actor. This is just simply not true. Sure, you can be talented at voice acting or acting, but that can only get you so far. You need to be able to consistently perform, and that takes a lot of hard work and a lot of time and dedication to your craft. A very simplified example of this is sports. Let's say there's a very talented football player who has never played football before, but he's a natural talent for the game. And he has to play against someone who was awful when they started, but they have been playing the game for years and they understand the game. Who do you think's gonna win? Well, most likely it'll be the person who's been playing the game for years. Why is that? It's because they understand the game and they've trained themselves accordingly. But unlike sports, you aren't limited in voice acting. And sure, you can be talented in voice acting when you begin, but voice acting and acting is all about putting the effort in. Anyone can be a voice actor. If you train hard enough and you're completely dedicated to the craft of acting, and you absolutely love it, then you will become a great actor. Regardless of when you start or how talented you were, what matters is the effort you put in, not talent. Number three, to be a good voice actor, I must be able to do loads of cool voices and loads of cool accents. No, not true at all. By all means, it's a great thing if you can do loads of voices and loads of accents, but it's not a requirement. But guess what is a requirement? being able to act. As the name would suggest, voice acting involves acting. And if you can't comfortably act in your own voice, then there is no point trying any other voices. Before jumping the gun and trying tons of different voices, you first have to master your own voice. Any professional voice actor will tell you that mastering your own voice is the most important thing there is. Sure, the people on The Simpsons can do like 50 voices and that's really cool and all, and you want to be exactly like them from the get-go. But they had to master acting in their own voice. I'm going to keep saying own voice until you guys get it. Because one of the most annoying things when you tell someone you're a voice actor is the response, Oh cool, you're a voice actor, do some funny voices for me. And then I stand there looking at them like, okay. There are a lot of famous and recognizable voices out there that only ever use their own voice because that's all they need to use. You can get by in voice acting with just one voice. Obviously, the more voices you can do is amazing, but always understand that it's acting at the end of the day. If you can't act in your own voice, then other voices are just going to sound odd. Another misconception that goes well with the one I just spoke about is when people say, my friend or some family member told me I have a great voice and that I should do voice acting. This is the equivalent to telling someone they should be a professional dancer based on the fact they got a good score on Just Dance one time. Sure, your voice could be great for narrating, but if you can't act, it does not matter. And yes, narrating requires acting. There is a reason why there are good narrators and there are awful narrators. David Attenborough has a brilliant voice for narrating, and he really loves what he's doing. He doesn't need to act that he's interested, he is interested. But if you wanted to replicate that kind of fascination that David Attenborough has when he's narrating, you need to be one hell of an actor. Number four, that you have to be a stage actor to be a voice actor. Now, before I upset any stage actors here, if you've done stage acting before you do voice acting, that will help you quite a lot. You will be at a very big advantage over people who have zero experience at voice acting or acting in general. The people who have done stage acting previously will be at an advantage. Because as we said earlier, acting is voice acting. And although a lot of professional voice actors were originally actors, this doesn't have to be the case. In fact, it's not always true. Some voice actors were musicians beforehand. Some were audio engineers. It's not always so simple. And yes, if you want to go straight into voice acting, you can. 
You just have to go to the appropriate classes and train properly and keep auditioning for things like you would for normal acting. So if you want to be a voice actor and you've never done any stage acting before, don't be discouraged by what you see and what you hear from other voice actors. Number 5. That voice acting can't be taken seriously if it's a hobby. If you want to voice act, you don't have to do it professionally. You don't have to do it as a career. You can do it at your own pace and you can do it in the comfort of your home. As long as you audition for things and you get in cool projects, and sometimes you get paid occasionally, then you are a voice actor even if you have no intention of it being your career. Who says it can't be a hobby? Who says you can't voice in stupid videos on the internet? As long as you know it's a hobby and you're not deluding yourself thinking you're a professional, then it's completely fine. And if you want to give it a go and see if you like voice acting as a hobby, then by all means do that! Alright hot dogs, I have been Dog VA and this video has been a little different than normal, but I hope you enjoyed it and maybe you learned a thing or two. Anyway, I will see you beautiful people next week. Have a wonderful week. I love you all so much. Mwah!